प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग प्लेन शीट प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन शीट सो इन दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द शेप ऑफ योर प्लेन वेयर इट इज रेस्टिंग एंड हाउ इट इज रेस्टिंग सो हियर द शेप इज थीन कंपोजिट प्लेट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द स्क्वायर एंड साइड विद एडिशनल सेमी सर्कल सो द शेप इज अ स्क्वायर विथ सेमी सर्कल इट्स अ कंपोजिट प्लेट and the side ab is in the vp so here the side is in the vp so it is resting on uh, on the vp with its side ab so this information which we required for the uh, first position so it is resting on vp if it is resting on vp then you got your uh, front view as a true shape so first of all you need to construct a square of 50 mm side so 50 mm side square you need to construct first okay so on one corner it is like a uh, circle so here there is no edge so you don't need to draw a thick line you can draw a thin line or you just need to find out a midpoint of this line so the midpoint of this line is 2.5 so this is your midpoint let's say so you just need to measure this distance and make an arc to construct a semi circle so this is a semi circle and this is a square of 50 mm so this is a semi circle so in most of the time the circle the circle have no edges or corners so you need to construct a edges or corner by dividing it in some number of parts in this case it's not a whole circle so we are not going to divide it in more than uh, four parts so let's say 45 degree is enough 45 and uh, 45 here and 90 as well so just divided into four equal uh, parts or we can say at angle of 45 degree these are not a edges or the side or anything but uh, to construct a second positions we need to construct this kind of things so this point is your a dash this is b dash c d e f and g so these are your front view because it is resting on vp so front view gives you the true shape next position is you have to draw a projections so projections from each and every corner of your plane it is too nearer so we need to make it so this is your top view so one view is a true shape and the second uh, view is your straight line so this point is a b this is c g d f and e so this is nothing but front view and top view of your composite plane in a first position now the 
uh, it makes a 30 degree with the HP and the surface of plate makes 45 degree with the VP. So this surface of the plate is making a 45 degree with the VP. So you have to make inclination at an angle of 45 degree with the same length. So first of all measure the distance, measure the angle of 45 degree from anywhere, somewhere like this. First of all you have to put a point. So this point is a 45, make a line. And measure this distance. So I'll show you the second method. Uh, in first method you can measure a distance and uh, directly put a line over here. And secondly you can uh, draw a line first and then you can draw uh, you can arc a distance and draw it again with the thick line. So this is a little bit lengthy process. So you can directly measure this length and draw it at an angle of 45 degree. Now you have to put these points on this line. So we got a point A, B and we got a point of E. We need to find out point C, G and D, F. It is with the, on the same distance of like this. So this point is your CG and this point is your DF. This is CG and this is DF. Now as usual draw the projections. And now draw the projections from the front view to find out the intersecting points from each and every corner or uh, edges of your front view with a thin line. Now find out the intersecting points. So this point is my A dash, this point is B dash. You can see it is intersecting line from both of them. A, B, then this point is C dash, B, E, F dash and G dash. Now join all the corner points. So this line should be th uh, uh, straight lines because it's a square. Half is a square and half is a circle. So this portion you have to draw it with the free hand. So if you don't uh, means if you are not going accurate then you can divide a circle into six equal parts like a 30, 60. And if you are properly means uh, grip you have a grip to draw a free hand lines then you can you don't need to divide any circle but you need intermediate points so this is your second position on which this angle is 45 degree this one now this plane this side ab is whatever the side is on the vp it makes 30 degree with hp so right now it making a 90 degree with the VP, hp so you have to make it 30 degree so for that uh, you have to draw a line at an angle of 30 degree to construct this thing. So let's say this is your 30 degree line. So you need to construct this shape over here on upper part. Okay. So this uh, uh, side is a 50 mm so you just directly you can draw a 50 mm line over here so you got two points a and b so this point is a dash and this point is b dash now draw perpendicular lines from these two lines. 
you don't know the distance so for that you have to measure the distance from this so a dash g dash is uh, at a distance of whatever the distance i'll just make an arc like this so this point is your g dash point and same way you have to find out a c dash point somewhere here so this distance is same because uh, because it's in line with each other then complete the lines with the thick line like this so this point is c dash now you have to construct this uh, curvature over here so for that you need to draw you need a you need to construct a rectangle with the same dimensions over here so i'll just measure the distance which is around uh, 1.6 so extend this line up to 1.6 mm so this distance is 1.6 and then complete the rectangle and then you have to draw these three lines okay so to draw the uh, means to you have to measure the three lines so this is the distance from c point this is the distance from c point you have to measure a c point like this and put it over here and measure it then this distance from c dash and this distance like this so draw a uh, lines from whatever the dimensions you have measure from the second position like this then one line this from g you can measure it from g you have to draw only one line so this is your line and draw it and find out the intersecting points so this point is your f dash this is e dash and this is d dash now draw it with the free hand so this is the final position in which you just have to rotate uh, this angle is let's say 30 degree now you have to draw a top view so draw a corner points draw the projections from each and every corner points and find out intersecting points to draw a final position of your plane find out the intersecting points so this point is a point this is your b c point is over here d so this is your d point e point is over here f g so these are your points and join them with the proper lines and curves so these are the lines this must be a lines a g and uh, b c now this must be joined with the smooth curve with the free hand drawing so this is your final position 
सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव इन विच इनिशियल पोजिशन इंटरमीडिएट पोजिशन एंड फाइनल पोजिशन एट एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव एंड थर्टी डिग्री 